Hi guys, this is Handy Radio here. Thank you for watching again. Now last weekend I went to a, a ham radio rally and I had a little store and I put the B5 and the B6 um, on display and a lot of uh, people, a lot of hams came to me and asked what's the main difference uh, between the B5 and 6. There aren't many differences so today I'm hoping to use the video to show you what are the main uh, differences between the B5 and the B6 and hopefully that will help you to make a decision as to which radio you'd like to purchase. Now, of course, both of them are available on handyradio.co.uk. Both radios share the same accessories, i.e. the dual band antennas are exactly the same. The desktop charging pod are the same, same with the chargers, and um, they come in identical boxes uh, in terms of the packaging. To the left hand side of the radio you get the same three button layout. You have the PTT switch um, and two smaller buttons. Now the, the middle one is opening the squelch which works the same for both radios. The lower one or the, the little button at the bottom on the B6 that turns on the flashlight or the torch. On the B5 um, you have to pre-program it, it's not doing anything at the moment. Looking on top of the radio, that's where the differences come in. On the B5, the one to the left, you have a little orange button, which is uh, what they call emergency call. Now press that and it sends out a, a, a alarm kind of ringtone to other radios on the same frequency. And you can see a VFO dial, okay, so the switch here on top of the radio. Whereas on the B6, you only get one LED torch, LED flashlight, okay, which is operated by pressing the, the side button on the radio. Both the UVB5 and the UVB6 share the same software, um, so the additional difference in layout of buttons doesn't really make a difference to how they operate so I'll show you the UVB6 first. Welcome. Okay so you can change the VFO and memory mode Frequency mode. using the bottom left button which is the same on the B5. Menu. Now without the dial you have to use the up and down button to change. Frequency And there's 29 menu options on the B6. And on the, on the B5, Welcome. Menu. you can use the dial. Step. Channel bandwidth. Squelch. Save mode. Power. Channel bandwidth. Again, you have 29 menu options, so there isn't any difference as, for, as far as the software is concerned. So uh, let's have a look at the side of the radios, again, in terms of the design. Now, I did this in my previous um, videos about the B6. Um, there is only slight difference to the side of the radio as how it appears, but um, in terms of the, the actual depth, the size of them, they are exactly the same. The similarity also extends to the back of the radio. So if I take the two batteries off, you can see the one on the left is UVB5 and the one on the right is UVB6. Same frequency range, same output power. The only thing different is the model number. So even the, the fittings for the batteries are the same, which means you can use either of these batteries okay, for the, um, the B5 or the B6. The model number for this battery is BL-B and it's um, 7.4 volt and it's 2000 milliamp hour um, capacity. Now let's have a look at the weight of the two radios, the UVB5 and the B6. The Baofeng UVB5 is 210 grams. Uh, 
and UVB6 is 206, so that's um, 205, that's 5 grams of difference, which means the extra button, the extra switch on top has made a slight difference uh, in weight. And just to give you a reference to the original Baofeng UV5R, which is on scale now, is 203 grams. So the new B5 and B6 is about 5, 6 grams heavier than the UV5R. However, let's look at the antenna for these radios. The UVB5 and the B6 uses the same dual band antenna and in my opinion that's much much better than the one you will see on the UV5R. The bodies of the B5 and B6 are slightly narrower than the original UV5R. In terms of the actual thickness of the radials they are very similar. So it really is down to personal preferences in terms of which radio to choose, the B5 or the B6. Now the B5 has a dial on top and personally I prefer that. Uh, it's a lot easier in my opinion to, to turn a dial, rotate a dial, than going through the up and down buttons on the keypad. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and it's given you some information about the two different, uh, different radios. If you have any further question about either of these radios, please feel free to post a comment and I will do my best to reply to your messages. And you can also click the like button, share this video with your friends, and you could subscribe to my channel for more updates on the various handheld radios. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time from handyradio.co.uk.